Welcome to another Liquid Bullet Productions. Yesterday, what seemed like a harmless selfie was uploaded on Facebook. Where's the news in that, I hear you say? Well, a member of the group Essex Boys The Truth and Nothing But The Truth posted a picture of himself and Kenny Noy out in a bar with the title, Out With Kenny For The Night. Quickly, chaos ensued in the comments and a war of words was started between members. Love him or hate him, Kenny Noy certainly attracts attention. The admin team were left refereeing the melee and a decision was later taken to turn off comments. Then, to make the whole situation even more bizarre, I wakes up this morning to a message with a link to an article written by award-winning journalist John Austin in the Essex News investigation about the whole post and all the comments. The article listed some of the comments made by members on the post, which has now been removed by the original uploader. Some of the comments were positive and some were quite negative. I've picked out a selection that were mentioned in the article, which read, one, just as long as you didn't cut him up in a motor or was a police officer doing your job, you should be fine. Another one, what a proud moment, eh? Pictured with a cowardly wee bleep that stabbed a guy to death. And another one, think you all forgot he's a convicted murderer, not a celebrity. But there were more positive comments which were, good man, Kenny's a legend and knows his stuff. He looks well, where is he? Is he allowed to travel abroad yet? And another one said, met in Spain briefly, sound bloke. Is he on Facebook or anything? Great photo. Kenny, I would just like to say just now, if you're watching, open invitation to come on Liquid Bullet anytime you want. We would love to have you. Now, the best bit about this whole article for me was John Austin's written observation to a comment which read, don't understand why you're so happy having a photo with a murderer. Let's hope you don't bump into Peter Sutcliffe. And John had written, this would be difficult as the Ripper died in November 2020 after catching COVID-19. Absolutely brilliant for me, but that's just my opinion. For those of you unfamiliar with Kenny Noy, which I'm sure is just a minority of our viewers, in 1996, he was convicted of murder for a road rage attack. Previous to that, he'd served a lengthy prison sentence in, from 1986 um, for handling stolen goods in relation to the Brinks mat robbery. He also controversially was acquitted of the murder of Detective Constable John Fordham. Unfortunately for Kenny Noy, he's still hounded relentlessly by the trash tabloid rags. Even though he served his time, he can't be left in peace as a now elderly man to live a quiet life. I think this yesterday's um, social media post, as well as this morning's uh, news article, goes a long way to show the intense interest and the extreme reactions Mr Kenneth Noy still evokes in people. Having had the chance to catch up with a couple of the members of the admin team, on the Essex Boys, the truth and nothing but the truth for their reaction. This is what was said. Such was the strength of the opinion that the Facebook bots acted due to language, giving the group a violation warning for its members for all. And it's also been brought to my attention that the onslaught has been kicked back off again on the group with another Kenny Noy post. So it looks like the admin team are going to be having a very busy day again today. Who would have thought one selfie being posted to a Facebook group could cause such a massive argument, put a whole group at risk and have an article written within hours? I think that goes to show just where social media is at today. Now as always, give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying the content, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our content and please share.